if you see this while swimming. Get out of the water right away! Swimming is one of the most pleasurable and healthiest activities out there. If you swim in the sea or the ocean, you can also enjoy the colorful underwater world. But most people would never dream that some encounters with ocean inhabitants can turn out to be fatal. <gasps> you should know that even the prettiest and smallest creatures dwelling in areas and oceans can seriously harm you. <laughs> and while some of them leave you hurting from nasty bites, others can kill you outright. In this video, you'll get acquainted with the 10 deadliest water inhabitants. Remember these creatures. If you ever meet them while swimming, get out of the water as soon as you can. If you want to learn about all kinds of dangers and how to avoid them, subscribe to our channel. On the bright side of life, you'll find not only this information, but also many other useful videos. Updates appear several times a day, so remember to ring that notification bell. Most divers worry about attacks from such sea predators as the tiger shark, the great white shark, or the bull shark. But despite common belief, shark attacks are actually quite rare. As for the marine creatures that can cause serious and often fatal injuries to people, those are often much smaller and considerably less famous. Let's have a look at some of them. 10. Stingray Upon first sight, you may think that stingrays, with their flat and wide bodies, are anything but fish. However, they are indeed fish, just a non-standard variety. They live in tropical and subtropical waters that are shallow and warm. Some of them can grow as long as six and a half feet, and their weight can be as great as 800 pounds. The most surprising thing about stingrays <laughs> is that they are pretty close relatives of sharks. While a stingray is considered to be quite docile and aggressive only in self-defense, it didn't make it onto our list out of the blue. There have been cases where people died after an unfortunate encounter with this fish. For example, in 2006, the famous naturalist Steve Irwin died while filming Ocean's Deadliest, a new underwater documentary. His heart was pierced by the barb of a frightened stingray. But besides having a sharp and pointed barb, Stingrays also have venom to protect themselves. They usually hide in the sand on the ocean floor. If you accidentally step on this fish, you can get a painful wound on your leg. Stingray venom isn't usually deadly, but it can cause cell and tissue death. If you leave the injury untreated, it can lead to the amputation of the affected limb. 9. Lionfish Lionfish can be spotted in both the South Pacific and the Caribbean Sea. Contrary to what many people think, lionfish aren't poisonous, and it's okay to cook them, but they present a real danger when they're alive. Lionfish have numerous needle, sharp, pelvic, dorsal, and anal fins, which all contain venom. If you get stung by any of these spikes, you'll experience great pain in the affected place. If you don't get proper help, there will be swelling and blistering. Another danger is that an infection may develop in the wound. In the worst case scenario, a person can have an allergic reaction to the venom. In this case, anaphylactic shock may lead to deadly complications. 8. Flower Urchin These beautiful creatures dwell in the Indian Ocean and the West Pacific Ocean. While they look like something you'd love to have in your aquarium, they aren't to be touched. Flower urchins have the potential to kill an absent-minded scuba diver. They have even made their way into the Guinness World Records as the most dangerous of all sea urchins. Despite what you may think, urchins have venom not in their spines, but in their triangular-shaped arms, also known as pedicellaria. And they have special stinging appendages that inject venom. If the venom of a sea urchin gets into the human body, it results in convulsions, spasms of the smooth muscle tissue, paralysis, shock, and death. This is why you must do everything you can not to touch these pretty flowers. As soon as they come into contact with your bare skin, you'll get poisoned. Remember that flower urchins have already been responsible for several untimely deaths. Seven. 
Indonesian needlefish. Indonesian needlefish aren't venomous, poisonous, or aggressive, and they don't have huge sharp teeth. So how have they managed to make it on our list? The danger they present lies entirely in their body shape. They resemble daggers and swim near the surface of the water. From time to time, they launch themselves out of the water and their speed can reach 37 miles per hour. Their long, sharp jaws turn needlefish into three-foot-long spears. There have been cases where people happen to be in the way of these creatures. You can probably imagine the horrifying results of such encounters. In short, quite a number of deaths and injuries have been caused by these surprisingly dangerous fish. 6. Electric Eel Electric eels live in the Amazon and Orinoco rivers. These predators aren't venomous, nor do they have sharp spikes or fins. They are just… electric. These unusual fish can deliver a huge 600-volt electrical discharge. This power comes from over 6,000 electrolyte cells in their bodies. Such a voltage can easily result in heart failure in humans. So before you decide to take a swim in the Amazon, check it out for the presence of the long snake-like creatures. 5. Barracuda Barracudas live in tropical waters, deep oceans, along continental shelves, or close to coral reefs. Among the numerous species, one is of particular interest to us, the Great Barracuda. This fish has a torpedo-shaped body that can grow up to 6 feet long. It's an aggressive predator. They aren't venomous, but the real danger is their scary sharp teeth. Unlike most sharks, barracudas eagerly attack people, especially if they're wearing something shiny while diving. Just one bite from a barracuda can cause serious wounds, which can lead to death from blood loss. On top of that, barracudas are infamous for leaping out of the water and attacking people in boats. Barracuda! 4. Blue Ringed Octopus Blue ringed octopus live in coral reefs and tide pools in the Indian and Pacific Ocean. These amazingly beautiful creatures attract attention with their unusual coloring. But if you ever notice a blue ringed octopus floating in the water next to you, escape as fast as you can. One octopus has enough venom to kill 26 adults in just a couple of minutes. These sea inhabitants aren't aggressive and stay away from people. But if you come across one, and it feels threatened by your presence, its rings will change color. That's your cue to back off. The most dangerous thing about the bite of the blue ringed octopus is that it's practically painless. Thus, people don't realize they're in extreme danger. Victims start to suspect that something is wrong only when they start to suffocate and become paralyzed. Other symptoms include nausea, blindness, and heart failure. Usually, people bitten by this octopus die within minutes. And since an anti-venom for blue ringed octopus venom hasn't been invented yet, stay as far away from this creature as possible. 3. Reef Stonefish As you've probably gathered from its name, the reef stonefish dwells in tropical coral reefs in the Indian and Pacific Ocean. You can meet them anywhere from the Red Sea to the Great Barrier Reef. Say hello to the most venomous fish on our planet! There are several things that make this stonefish so deadly. First of all, this creature can blend into its surroundings so well that you won't notice it even if you're particularly attentive. Therefore, it's super easy to step on this fish. This takes us to point number two. Stonefish have a row of spines along their back. If they feel threatened, or if somebody steps on them, they extend these spines and use them to deliver their venom. The greater the pressure, the more venom the fish produces. On top of that, stonefish remain dangerous even when taken out of the water as their venom stays toxic for another 24 hours on land. The venom of this fish causes severe pain. People suffer so much that there have been cases where they begged for the wounded limb to be cut off. Other consequences of the sting can be rapid swelling, muscle weakness, tissue death, temporary paralysis, and heart failure. 
The kidneys are usually negatively affected by the after effects of a stonefish sting. In addition, after the victim recovers, they still feel pain in the affected area for weeks to come. Luckily, very few incidents end lethally because an antivenom for the stonefish exists. By the way, it's the second most administered antivenom in Australia. Two, textile cone snail. When you look at this pretty snail, you probably think about how cute it looks. The pattern on its shell is worth admiration. But don't fool yourself. The textile cone snail is at the top of the list of the most dangerous creatures in the world. These venomous cuties dwell in the Indo-Pacific region, Australia, the Indian Ocean, and French Polynesia. They prefer shallow reefs where they hide under corals and rocks. Unknowing shell collectors are attracted by the beauty of these three and a half inch long creatures. But as they eagerly swim towards a potential catch, they don't have a clue that one drop of the venom this snail produces can kill 20 people. The cone snail has tiny harpoons full of lethal neurotoxin. If this creature feels threatened, it shoots these harpoons in all directions. They easily pierce human skin. But if you're unlucky enough to choose a mature snail as your prey, its barbs can penetrate even a wetsuit. A pretty scary thing is that symptoms of such a sting can either appear right away or be delayed for hours and even days. People who become victims of cone snails suffer from sharp pain, swelling, and numbness. If the sting is particularly bad, it can cause muscle paralysis, breathing failure, and even vision changes. One species of cone snail is called the cigarette snail, and its venom is especially deadly. After all, this snail got its name because the victim has just enough time to smoke one cigarette before they die. There have been 30 documented human deaths from the harpoons of cone snails, but nobody knows how many fatal cases haven't been reported. The worst thing is that no antivenom has been created yet. One. Box jellyfish. Box jellyfish are widespread in Indian and Pacific Oceans. These creatures have squarish bells which resemble boxes and countless long dangling tentacles. Some of their tentacles can grow as long as 10 feet. Each tentacle has about 500,000 microscopic harpoons which inject venom into a victim. Unlike other jellyfish, box jellyfish are hunters. They can easily latch onto people by wrapping their slender tentacles around a person's limb or body. Their sting is so excruciatingly painful that people can go into shock immediately. The most likely result in this case would be heart failure or drowning because victims just can't get back to the shore. Since 1954, there have been almost 5,600 recorded deaths from box jellyfish attacks. Even if a person survives, they will be in pain for weeks after the encounter. If you have come into contact with this floating monster and managed to get to the shore, immediately rinse the affected area with vinegar. Then, use fine tweezers to pluck out visible tentacles. After that, soak the place of the sting in 110 degree Fahrenheit water for a minimum of 20 minutes. Have you ever come across any of the venomous creatures mentioned in this video? If you have, please tell us about your experience in the comments below. Press the like button if you're going to be on the lookout for any of these dangerous sea inhabitants after watching this video.